Nice! You're out. I will always know Everything I need is right here with me It's time to let it all go No matter who knows Anything about me now I'm ready to see what life's got for me I got one thing left to say Dad wanted a new fence put in So we're putting in a fence for Dad So what we've done here is we drove a stake down into the center, put a piece of three inch PVC around it, and then one person's gonna turn it like it's a spool on a sewing machine, and then the other person pulls on it. Seems to work pretty good. Today we are going canoeing and paddle blowing down the Deschutes River with Nick's dad and his wife. So we're out here paddle boarding on the Deschutes River and it's quite a nice day out here. It's so quiet and peaceful. This river moves along pretty good, but there's no rapids. Trix has been swimming like crazy. Everybody's having fun. It's nice to be out here kicking it with my dad and Mary. Having a blast. Spending a lot of time together that we haven't had the opportunity to spend in a very long time. This is pretty cool. Good girl. You want on my board? Come on. Good girl. <laughs> She's like, this is fun, guys. <laughs> Let's do it again. Stay there. You don't need to jump board to board this to board. Is fun. Got the Trixie dog. She's conflicted. <laughs> she wants to swim, but it's really cold. <laughs> so she's having a tough time. <laughs> <laughs> Trixie has been swimming for roughly a mile, I would say. And she got kind of cold. And she's currently having an inner conflict. <laughs> she's cold. She's freezing cold, but she really wants to swim. So she's struggling through that. She has full permission to get in the water, 
do whatever she wants. Apparently, somebody accidentally dropped a tree on our fence that we just built yesterday. Not here looking for it. I don't see it. We literally just put this thing up yesterday. <laughs> somebody drops a tree on it. Go figure. <laughs> what are you gonna do? We can fix it. No problem. Oh no. Ah. Oh. I see. Shoot. That blows. Oh well. <laughs> so our perfectly straight fence is no longer straight. <laughs> we marked so hard on making that thing straight. Oh man. Looks like a tree. Probably that tree right there fell down and landed on the fence and then it blew out the staples on the gate post. Yeah, that was all perfect yesterday. <laughs> what the heck, man? <laughs> I hope you're enjoying the video so far. If you could please give us a like, and if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, subscribe, follow along, see what we're doing with our adventures. If you ring the little bell, it'll give you a reminder next Tuesday when we put out another episode, so you don't miss it. Today is my birthday, so Nick put fence building on hold, and we're gonna go out and have a little bit of fun around the bend area. So we're gonna go start our day by visiting the Bend Whitewater Park. That is on the Deschutes River and it's a little rapid, I guess, that people actually surf on down that river. So we're gonna go check that out and see what other kind of trouble we can get in around the Bend area today. You're gonna go surfing? Not today. It's too uh, cold. What? What? We finally made it and there is one surfer out here so we're gonna go check that out. Very popular surfing spot. I've been here three times now. I've never seen it without surfers. Pretty neat. It looks like you might be able to raft it too, right? Yeah, so this is a kayak spot right here. Kayak trail. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're, they're actually obstacles that were built for white water rafting. That's neat. Like the, the surfing spot was purposely made that way. That'd be fun to raft. That's probably a great place to learn. What happens when you fall down? You just go over the bump. It's like those indoor surfing places is only better because you don't get slammed into a wall. So half of it for kayaking is called the fish ladder and there's different steps that step down, different levels, and then the surfing area has four different waves that you can surf. That's pretty cool. Get the ocean when you're not next to the ocean. Now entering the old mill district. So 
down here there's a bunch of shops, restaurants, breweries down here. And you're all right on the Deschutes River. Check, check, see, yeah. One, two. Okay, check, 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 The amphitheater over here has got Luke Bryan playing today and tomorrow. Yeah. We're just listening to him set up over here. We got free concert. How about that? <laughs> what time does it start? Doors open at 4.30, show starts at 6. 6 o'clock? Yeah. Unfortunately, we got other plans. Yeah, we got birthday dinner planned. morning. Nick and his dad have basically completed the fence out here and so we're getting ready to leave in the next day or so. Today we're gonna take a nice drive out to some lakes and do a little scenic touring around Central Oregon. Dad and Mary are taking us on a scenic drive that they say is pretty special. We haven't been on this drive so we're excited. We don't know what quite what we're doing. All right we're gonna go on the Cascade Scenic Byway and it's a, a highway that, that connects a bunch of lakes up in the Cascade Mountains. So we're gonna go see uh, Elk Lake and, and a couple others if we have enough time. So that should take us probably an hour and a half to two hours. Maybe we'll grab a beer on our way some when we get up to the Elk Lake if they're still open. But a lot of these resorts are already closed for the season. Um, many of them have closed just here the last couple of weeks because we're getting ready for winter. You guys enjoy this trip. If there is something we need, it's a leap of faith. A step away from the comfort zone and be a little brave. This is a super secret thinking spot. Don't tell anybody we brought you here. Oh. How far can you see? How far do you think? Standing on your knees It's a beautiful world out there And just don't pass on the dead If you have the will and the moment to oh. stay It's a beautiful world I'll just watch from back here Those are not butterflies It's a beautiful world out there That is like going to Canada It can be a bit frightening it's Something you don't know You need a little enlightening yeah. Look how clear that water is. Yeah, it's incredible. But the water's cold. That's why it's clear. <laughs> it's cold. 37 degrees coming out of the coming out of the ground, and it says warm up. The mile, about two miles or so, that it comes down to where we, where we like to go. It doesn't warm up at all. Just 37 degrees. Cold man. It's pretty dang cold. So dad took us over here to Elk Lake, which is apparently famous for sailing. And uh, they got this little lake house here and we're sitting here having beers and checking out the view. It's beautiful. This is an incredible area. So much to do. So much to do packed in such a small little space, you know. Right here. 
I told her I wanted all the sauces. Yeah. Shoots Brewery is currently not doing tours, but that's not going to stop us from going in, checking out the tasting room, grabbing a beer, and a bite to eat. So one of my favorite things to do is, as we're traveling around the country is to taste all the different beers in the local areas that we go and Deschutes is no exception. This is my favorite brewery of all time. Um, my favorite beer of all time is the Abyss Reserve Deschutes Brewery. Checking it out. Enjoying it. I have some beer to take home. <laughs> We've navigated from the Deschutes tasting room to the Deschutes public house, where they have the infamous barley wine, which I don't know if you've ever had barley wine or not, but it is the strongest, most tastiest, incredible, mind-blowing experience you'll ever have with beer. I highly recommend it, and Deschutes makes the best. It's really good. So we're, uh, we got some pizza and some artich artichoke dip, and uh, we're just enjoying the Deschutes Brewery. We've been enjoying everything Deschutes. It's been pretty neat. I really like Ben. It's my favorite. Of all the places, Ben is my favorite. Don't tell anybody. As you can see behind me, Nick has taken everything off of our roof. We're doing a little bit of spring cleaning in the fall, try to reduce some weight and get rid of some stuff we haven't used in the last year. Kind of a bittersweet day for us. We are leaving our paddle boards behind at the in-laws house so they can use them here on their lake. We're trying to make room for some new solar panels so we can be off grid a little bit longer and we will bring you guys with that whole process of when we get started on that. Today's the day, we are packing up to leave and head south. Thanks for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and hit that like, subscribe, and ring the little bell for us, and we'll see you next Tuesday. Bye. Down to business.